Tumefika hapa kwa mwaliko wa chama chetu cha ODM tawi la vihiga na mimi nikiwa hapa na hizi yuko nyumbani niko kwa watu yangu kwa mimi niko na furaha sana kurudi tena hapa vihiga nataka nikuchukua nafasi hii kwanza kutoa shukrani kwenu kwa kutukaribisha hapa siku ya leo na kwa vile 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 yale ambayo nyinyi mmefanya mwaka ya juzi nilikuja hapa tukaongea pamoja na nyinyi hapa makani hakikishia kwamba nyinyi mtafanya na mkafanya lakini yule mama yangu yule mama finya yule akasema yeye alifinya mchana na <laughs> sisi vile vile watu wa odi mtulifinya mchana Azimio sio lakini hata ngawaje wale tufinya imekoma kwa koo ile chakula imekoma kwa koo yao imekataa kuteremka inawanyonga nasikia kila <laughs> mara kwa mara sasa mimi nimefurahi kuona vile nyinyi mmejitarisha kwa chama natoa shukrani sana kwa gavana wenu hapa mheshimiwa Utichilo. Utichilo ni kijana yangu huyo. Tumekuwa na kwa bunge, akafanya kazi mzuri sana kule kwa bunge. Ndio nikamwambia yeye aweza kuja kusimama kama gavana hapa Bihiga. Tena amekuwa amebaki kama mwanachama wa ODM kamili. Tena nataka kushukuru sana seneta wenu huyo. Osoti 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 alikuwa kule kwa ANC wakamdhulumu yeye nikamwambia wewe wacha na hii mambo ya ANC ingie kwa chungwa Sema ingie kwa chungwa Tumefanya vizuri Si ndio Sasa haya yako hapa anafanya kama senator na anafanya kazi mzuri wanasema nyota nzuri inaonekana alfajiri sio ndio sasa mimi naona hata alada vile vile anajaribu hapo yeye ndiye mtaamua sio sio mtaamua lakini kwa wakati huu kitu muhimu ni kujenga chama chetu cha odi hata alada vile vile ni mtu yangu sana Ye ni mwenyekiti wetu wa kule Nairobi nimefanya kazi nzuri kule Nairobi sana. Sasa chama ndiyo ngao yetu. Chama ndiyo nguzo yetu. Kama chama yuko na nguvu ndiyo sisi tuko na silaha, sivyo? Mnaona wale jamaa ambayo walichukua wali, wali, wali hema uchindi wetu wameshinda kufanya kazi. Sasa wanataka kuredesha nchi yetu katika ile utawala ya kiimla na kidhalimu. Mshikie mzee wangu huyu mzee Omido. Mzee Fred Omido ni chuma ya zamani. Yes. Yeye walikuwa pamoja na Jaramogi wakati ile Denis Sakumu walikuwa naye. Hata Tombo yeye walikuwa naye wakati ile yeye babiru. Yeye ni chuma ya zamani na yeye mtu ambaye ako na ufahamu na uzoefu. Amemwambia nyinyi vile mambo yalikuwa. And then they say the more things change is the more they remain the same. Sio. Amemwambia nyinyi vile walikuwa wanapelekwa kwenye ikulu kufanya uchaguzi wa kutu. Na wakifanya uchaguzi wanaambiwa amjafanya vizuri. Hawa jamba tusipo jihadhari na kujikinga tunaweza kurudi katika utawala kama ile ambayo ya zamani. Jamaa anataka kurudisha Kenya kule. Ndio kwanza ameanza alianza kwanza na bunge. Bunge wameshika mateke sasa. Bunge haina nguvu. Imehasiwa. Bunge imefinya makende. 
Haide mă de cenă. Bungă să așa șerină tot că e culul, ne ne apetit și că bungă zic cu eu, eu, eu. Acum ne bungă. Bungă că ziua sunt în mâmpă, ziua CDF. Găvania CDF. Dacă pe a pesa, când s-a făcut în Uca, Australia. Și cu ora fiecare an, cu cea în aerea de Dubai. Când a cheia cu ele, Canada, la Cadalic. Acum ne zice, o te lapă pe tangul la un azungu ca au, ne cuja cu fania arambe apa. Zine, ana pâni. Până spica. Spica, ana fania vile, e metoda cu necul. Și are în bombă, fucă măzire. Să section 2A. Să ne petrece cu bungă și cu moja. Bungă ne chemă sasa, bungă na executive e măcoa ne chetuchi moja. Sasa, ei ne băi mebac în mahakama. Ne atragă sasa bile bile cu cișică mahakama teche. Ei ne chemă mahakama bile bile ne patia executive. Sasa, ei ne chemă ochea mua bile ea ataki ata eșimu o muzi mahakama. That he will defy and ignore the ruling of the court. He is the man who will dictate. He is the man who will dictate. But when the Mahakama attacks me, I am not the buyer. We are not in a position to find a peace. The people who are in the Mahakama court are the Supreme Court. We are sitting to the lawyer. We are not the judge. Hakufanya haki. Alitangaza matokeo ya bandia. Na tukaenda mbele hiyo mahakama. Mahakama ika tupa kezi yetu inje. Na tuka mwege simu. Kama tungekua ruto tungesema hatuwe shimu wa muzi wa mahakama. Wakanya wajitokeze na wafanya maandamano. Singifanyika? Singifanyika? Lakini si tunwe shimu. Ngawaje ilikuwa didhi yetu. Sasa huyu mjaji mkuu, madam kumi ya nasema nataka kupanya mazungumuzo na Naruto. Hiyo ni umanzo ya kuni ya kuregesha kamba. Hakuna haja ya mahakama kupanya mazungumuzo na Naruto. Mahakama imesema ya kwamba kama we ukubaliere na uamuzi wa mahakama we fanya kata rufa. Tiari there is an active court case in court which I mean the court has made a law, court has made a ruling and the executive has appealed and the matter is before the court is supposed to be decided on the 25th of this month. The Chief Justice is talking about having a dialogue with the executive, which has got a, 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 an active case in the court. That is how to compromise justice. Let the judges do their thing independently. We want to, uh, to tell the, the, the Chief Justice not to compromise the position of the court. She already took a position. There's no need for dialogue. If I have a case in a court, I don't need to go and negotiate with the, the judges. There's no need for negotiations. Either I am right or I'm wrong. Either it is black or it is white. That's what it is. But if you want to compromise the judiciary and negotiate with the executive over this kind of dispute, then we are saying you are yourself going to compromise the country. Kenyans must stand firm so that we protect these institutions that were created in this constitution. We have the executive, the judiciary, the legislature, and the independent commissions, as has been said, and let them remain independent and interdependent. This is a point I wanted to make today with regards to the judiciary. Lakini wachi nirudi kwa chama sasa. Mimesema chama ndiyo nguzo yetu. Kama chama yuko na nguvu, si tuko na nguvu. Chama ndiyo ngao, chama ndiyo mkuki, chama ndiyo uta, chama ndiyo mshali. 
ya kushika hatamu ya utawala katika taifa letu. Kwa hivyo tunataka chama yetu iwe na nguvu kuanzia mashinani huko chini. Chini. Alafu vile vile sera yetu ihubiriwe i- kwa wananchi wetu. Sisi kama chama cha ODM tuko na sera sanifu. Sera ya ujamaa ya kidemokrasia kwa kimombo inaitwa social democracy we are a social democratic movement which believes in fairness in terms of distribution of resources in the country we are saying that we want to use the private sector for wealth creation but we must also see that the wealth that is created is proportionately distributed among the population of the country. We are very strong in terms of protection of human rights. Tunasema kuna haki tano muhimu ya 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 binadamu. Haki ya kwanza ni haki ya kuishi, the right to life. Haki ya pili ni haki ya kupata chakula, the right to food. Kila mkenya mpaka awe na haki ya kupata chakula kama yeye yako ananja tatu the right to health haki ya usalama ya 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 afya right to health kila mkenya kama yeye ni mgonjwa ana pesa au hana pesa aweze kupata matibabu ya kutosha nne ni the right to education haki ya kupata elimu kila mtoto ambaye mzaliwa katika taifa letu wazazi wana pesa au hawana pesa aweze kupata elimu sawa sawa kuanzia nursery kupitia primary secondary mpaka chuo kikuu tano right to work kila mkenya ambaye amefika umri ya kufanya kazi aweze kupata ajira ili aweze kupata riziki ya kupata chakula ya kulisha eh, watu yake familia yake haya ni haki muhimu zaidi katika chama chetu cha ODM a social democratic movement kwa hivyo hawa ndisho habari kila mara kwa mara wanasema ati oh vyama vya Kenya havina sera na kadhalika siji wanasoma wapi sisi ukiweza kusoma manifesto yetu tuko na sera sanifu kama ODM kwa clear Uh, 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 ideology which is enshrined in our constitution so we want to bring these changes the union is about to lisema wakati zilikuwa tunafanya campaign atakishika hatamu ya utawala kwanza tutahakikisha kwamba wakenya wote wana chakula ya kutosha na yule mtu ambaye hana chochote yule maskini ambaye ni hoi hai hawinde atapata nguruwe sita kila mwezi na wale wa mama ambaye wana watoto na hawana mabwana single parent mothers tulisema watapata msaada kutoka kwa serikali kwa upande afya tulisema tutaleta baba care baba care angalieni tofauti baba care na ruto care Sasa kuna tofauti kubwa. Sasa kuna tofauti kubwa ni kama usiku na mchana. Yale yalikuwa ni poroja tu ambayo alikuwa anasema ati oh tutaangalia ati mahasla mbama mboga jua kali boda boda. <laughs> yale yote yalikuwa ni matupu tu kama mazushi ya punda. Sasa sisi tunataka kuona kama ya, tukishika hatamu tutaweza kutekeleza hayo yote. Ndio sababu tunataka watu wengi waingie ndani ya chama cha ODM. ODM ndio mkombozi katika taifa letu. Mko tayari? Mko tayari? Mama mko tayari? Leo tunaanzisha leo hapa mambo ya recruitment ya, 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 ya members. Jana tulikuwa busia mwaka mwezi wa Disemba tulikuwa huko Siaya, Homabay, Migori, Kisi, Nyamira, Kisumu. Kesho tutakuwa Bungoma. Tutakutoka hapo 
wiki jao tutaenda Lamu tutakuwa Malindi tutakilipi Tanariva tutaita Taveta kwale Mombasa baadaye tutaenda Garissa Mandera uh, Wajia kule Marsabit na kadhalika Kenya mzima rodi ni chama cha taifa ya Kenya yote leo tuko ingo leo ni siku, siku ya ingo tunaanzisha leo hapa tunataka vijana waingie ndani ya chama vijana waingie ndani ya chama kwa wengi wale wazee ambao wamechoka hapo chini waende juu waje nafasi kwa vijana hapo chini sawa sawa na wamama waingie kwa chama kwa nguvu sana mama ni maua ya chama si mama ni maua ya chama mama mko tayari mko tayari nataka mama waingie kabisa ndani ya chama nilisema juzi ndata jana kwamba ODM chama ni kama mto mto unajua maji ingine natoka kwa mlima huko nyingine inaingia ziwani huko chini sasa maji mpya kila siku inatoka huko mlimani inakuja na hiyo ni vijana hapo chini mke yake hapo katikati tuko na wamama pande nyingine tuko na wale veteran cha chama alafu tuko na wazee wa chama tuko na wasomi wa chama sio chama inakuwa na nguvu sababu kama kama yuko na nguvu ndio taifa inakuwa na nguvu si sawa sawa mko tayari mko tayari Viga mko tayari. Viga hoi. Viga hoi. Sasa mimi na furaha kuona vile wamesoma hapa, wamesema viga ni namba 12. Jana tulikuwa Busia, Busia ni namba 1 Kenya mzima. Alafu na furaha Homa B namba 2. Kisumu namba 3. Kilifi namba 4 na kadhalika. Sasa hii mnashindwa na Kakamega mko na wakumi na mbili na wale wa, watu wa vibusia wamesema watazidi kuwa namba 1 sawa na wao mbona wanasema wanataka kushinda busia sasa nataka kuona vihiga itakuwa namba ngapi hapa vihiga ndio mnani alitoka hapa bana oyangi mbaja sasa nitoka hapa rafiki jaramugi kamili kabisa jeo kadenge kadenge alitoka hapa Sikuja kuzika kadenge ni hii. Eh? Ah ni watu ambao wamekuwa na mimi karibu sana. Eh? Kadenge na mpira. Kadenge naye na mpira. Ana mpira kadenge. Kadenge na mpira. Hatari. Hatari katika goli. Hatari. Hatari 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 hatari. Goli. Sasa mimi nataka kutoa zawadi kwa wale ma branches namba tatu niliambiwa ilikuwa ni vihiga wapi vihiga hapa chama chama na vihiga chama ya 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 mhaya na chama ya luanda waje hapa mbele <laughs> vihiga Vihiga napatia 1200. Oh. Thank you. Asante baba. Asante. Ah. Em haya. Em haya. Em haya unapata 1030. Oh. Luanda. Asante baba. Hapi Luanda? Ndiko hapo. Luanda wanapata alufu hamsini Asante